for the sake of romance. Usually it'd be for commerce and romance with local women would come about uh, in the process. Uh, but Luke, anything to say about what I brought up? So I, I notice even married men, even in rabbis who don't have children, they're out there seeking adventure and excitement, not necessarily sexual, but uh, men, men do feel a strong drive for adventure. And it tends to get met once they get married and have kids, right? Having kids usually provides all the excitement that uh, most men need. But until men have kids, the, I just noticed that just constantly out there thrill seeking. And it's hard for communities, it's hard for churches, it's hard for, for synagogues to compete with the excitement that seems to be out there. But it, it can compete if it, if it offers a quality of social connection that, uh, that fills people up, right? People go out into the world usually from a place of some, some emptiness. If people are getting the, the connection, the, the friendship, the bonding that they, they yearn for, if they're getting that at home, they're much less likely to go seeking for it around the world. So there are churches that provide a genuine sense of community and human connection and some kind of uh, transcendent drive or overarching theme to people's life that, that uh, makes life more coherent and just simply operate better. And so people will throw in their lot with those churches rather than seek thrills. Uh, so too with uh, Orthodox synagogues, right? There are plenty of Orthodox synagogues where men will come to pray three times a day because the quality of the human connection, quality of their bonds in, in that synagogue just vastly transcends what they might expect to get from, from uh, the thrills that are available in the, in the secular world. So if, if you, you were raised in a, a normal family where you have affection for your parents and for your siblings and your extended family and the people you grow up around, you're going to have much less of a need to you know, ride the cock carousel or to you know, go looking for sexual adventures in, in Burma or you know, spending your nights in bars trying, trying to pick up women. These are frequently manifestations of some, some brokenness from people who, who never learn to connect in a normal way. But we can build up communities and, and have genuine connection with people. One of the pieces of feedback that I've often received is that uh, I have a good energy. So in a sense, I am well suited to be a passport bro in that I can go, you know, certainly anywhere in the English speaking world and I can meet people in the park. I can just talk to people in the park and, and form connections with people that uh, last for years. And if I have a good energy, I, I can show up to, you know, a new place, meet people, connect and, and start to develop a, a community. If, if you're at ease with yourself and you have a realistic sense of who you are and what your weaknesses are, then it makes it much easier to engage with other people in an authentic, honest way. And you can start to form bonds wherever you go in the world. And you can participate in a community and create the type of human connection that fills people up so that they don't have to go seeking the cheap thrills. Like if you get the real thing, you're not going to be driven to seek the the, the meretricious, the, the showy, the the you know the, the prettily dressed, but but ultimately fake and and soul deadening. So if, if people develop that that real connection, that real bond with with others, then that's usually going to fill them up, so that they will not uh, devote themselves to cheap thrills.